Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Parker Nierenstein. This is Vehicle Virgins, and today we are headed to the track with Lexus to a performance driving school. Let's check out the cool cars we're driving today. S65, that is ballin'. All right, we are almost at Fontana Club Speedway. I've never been here before. This is exciting, driving some cool cars, on a new track, and apparently there's some instruction involved as well. If you guys are interested in doing a performance driving school but haven't already, I seriously, seriously recommend it. I did Bondurant, that was fantastic. I've done a couple others, Hooked on Driving, that was great as well. I'm about to do this Lexus one that I got invited to. But honing in your driving skills and becoming a better driver is such a rewarding and fun experience at the same time. Auto Club Speedway. That's pretty cool, the crosswalk is a checkered flag pattern. I can hear the sound of engines. Exotic racing. Okay, interesting. Lexus event. Oh, okay, sorry Lexus. That says cart track there, so um, all right. I'm gonna go to the cart track now. Just kidding. Wow, this is flipping huge. And the straightaway could not be better for drag racing. I wish I brought a different car than the S-Class. The straightaway is insane. Michelin actually invited me to this event, so thank you guys so much. This S-Class right now is rocking Michelin tires. I think the LC500 comes with Michelin Pilot Super Sports, so we'll see. That's one of the cars I'm gonna be driving today along with the RCF, the GSF, the IS350, and a couple others. Should be fun. That sign is so confusing. Did I leave California? That's not possible. Tunnel run, tunnel run, tunnel run. Let's go over some of the cars we're gonna be driving today. So here is the GSF. This is sort of the M5 E63 competitor. Big five liter naturally aspirated V8. Then we move on to the LC500, which is the new car from Lexus. It's not a replacement for the LFA, but it is a big, fast two-door sports coupe. Five liter V8 as well, 471 horsepower, but it's more on the luxury side than an actual sports car. Think about something like an S-Class Coupe as opposed to a C63. Then we have the RCF. I did a review on the RCF, absolutely loved that, and an RC350 F Sport as well. Let's go register and see what the day has in store. Right, guys, I'm about to go out on track in the all new Lexus LC500. I'm gonna do a dedicated video on this because I think it's worth it, giving my opinions on it. That's gonna drop tomorrow at noon Pacific Standard Time, so make sure to look out for that. All right, so we just got done driving the LC500. You'll have to check out the video tomorrow to get my thoughts on that. Now we are doing a braking and slalom exercise in RC350s. All right, all we have to do is floor it and brake. done doing the slalom and braking exercise. Now we are going over to the autocross course in the Lexus GSFs. Apparently the top three people win a prize, but the little curveball is you actually don't just cross the finish line as fast as possible. You have to place the car in between two sets of finish lines. I believe that's why they did this braking exercise here. We're using GSFs and not RCFs. The chassis on the GSF is a lot better. And then we're going to do some drifting in RCFs over on a wet skid pad after that. All right, we can start now. So. How this is gonna work, two people per car, you're gonna get a total of four laps. Two are gonna be classified as practice laps, two are gonna be competition laps. All four laps are gonna be timed. Now the first two are gonna work, your first lap you're gonna be the only car on the course. Linda is gonna be talking, directing you through the course. Listen to what she has to say, all right? This woman is a two-time national SCCA autocross champion. She knows what she's doing. I can't beat her. So by all means, yes. take the tip <laughs> she's giving you, all right? All right, I am in the Lexus GSF, 5 liter V8, 467 horsepower, 389 pound-feet of torque, and I am on a slalom course right now. 
Top three people win some sort of prize. We're not sure what. There's a lot of pressure. This is exciting. This car weighs about 80 pounds more than the RCF, which is kind of hilarious because the RCF is the M3 competitor. It's smaller. It's a two-door coupe. This is the M5 competitor. It's larger. It's got more doors, yet it only weighs 80 pounds more. We're in Sport Plus mode right now, like the LC500 that I drove. That's gonna be in a video tomorrow. Once you change the screen from Sport to Sport Plus, the actual instrument cluster changes. Pretty cool. which I believe uh, is the fastest so far, and it was my first uh, first try, not bad. All right, so Linda, the woman who is talking right now, her last name is Post. I'm curious if it's Randy Post's wife. It could be, because she's a badass driver. She got 32.8 seconds, I believe. She's a professional driver, autocross champion. There's no way I'm gonna get 32.8 seconds. There's just no chance, but this is a fun car. I like this thing a lot. Uh, it's a unibody as opposed to apparently the RC chassis is three separate pieces, which makes it uh, not as stiff. They definitely are gonna need to go away from being naturally aspirated because with 467 horsepower, yes, that's awesome, but to compete with the next generation M5 at 600 horsepower, et cetera, it just isn't gonna cut it. E63, 602 horsepower, et cetera. Are you ready? Yep. You are good to go, hit it. Control cutting in. That was slow. All right, my second lap was a 34.9 two seconds off the pace on a 30 second lap. Not ideal, but it looks like most of the people right now are running in the 37s to 40s. So I don't feel too bad, but uh, we'll see. I'm not a huge autocrosser. I would love to get into autocross. I don't have the car for it, uh, but getting some small lightweight car and running some autocross events would be fantastic. I got the fastest time of the day, 33.7. Unfortunately, you lose two seconds per cone you hit. Well, I didn't hit any cones. The person in front of me hit three cones. They didn't record that they hit the cones. They put it all on mine. And so I ended up <laughs> with a lot worse of a time because of it, but had an absolute blast. I'm pumped at the time. Now we can see what an actual pro driver can do. All right, you ready to roll? Yep. That's crazy. I had a 33.7, but apparently I hit three cones, so <laughs> that doesn't count either. Yeah, I got, awesome I got driving, man. <laughs> okay, so I am in an RCF, and Lexus is telling me to yep, drift it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, we got a skid pad set up. You're supposed to first, I guess, do a little bit of understeer, and then try to mitigate oversteer, and then, I guess, potentially, uh, you can do donuts. This has been an absolute blast. Having a good time out here at Fontana. Funny enough, the woman Linda is the ex-wife of Randy Post, who is, of course, the test driver for Motor Trend. She can drive really, really well. 3,960 pounds. This thing is heavy, but honestly, they did a good job of mitigating that weight. The steering feels fantastic. The throttle response is great because it's naturally aspirated. It sounds 
fantastic. Let's see how it is to drift. All right, look to the inside. Right, now we're gonna try it again from a different angle. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any exterior shots of that, but here we go. Here's a Lexus RCF out there trying to drift. Emphasis on the word trying. Oh boy. Oh boy. It is a lot harder than it looks, but I got it dialed in at the end. There we go. Look at all these beautiful cars out here. And that view. All right, some hot laps to finish the day off. Again, thanks to Michelin and Lexus for making today possible. Going out on track in the LC500. That video drops tomorrow at noon Pacific Standard Time. Then getting to drive an RCF out on the wet skid pad, doing some braking exercises in an RC350, and then doing the autocross course in the GSF. I love that GSF. I had the fastest time of the day. Unfortunately, I got screwed by some cones somebody else knocked down, but such is life. Got an awesome lap with a professional driver. Now it's time to head home and really seriously finish unpacking the house because it is a mess right now. Well, in a crazy turn of events, I guess they fixed the uh, cone fail. I apparently hit cones, but it was the person in front of me. And freaking one first place, they gave me a Lexus watch. How cool is that? Let's check this thing out. Was just expecting to come here and drive some awesome cars and came back with a Lexus F Sport watch. That's pretty awesome. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. Special thanks to Lexus and Michelin for making this possible. I look forward to seeing you next video. Ah!